Oxygen cutting is based on the chemical reaction between oxygen and the metal at high temperatures. The necessary high temperature is obtained from an oxyfuel gas flame, the most popular fuel gas being acetylene. The process is therefore commonly referred to as the oxyacetylene process and is widely used in all metal fabrication shops. The fundamental principle for oxyfuel gas cutting is in two stages, convert the metal into its oxides, a material formed with a reaction with oxygen, so that it can no more able to join once it's solidified. This process works best for materials where they can easily form metal oxides such as iron. Fe forms iron oxide when it is heated in the presence of oxygen. The higher the heating temperature, the more the number of oxides formed. During the torch cutting the material is burned by the heat of the flame and these combustion products, metal oxides, are expelled by an oxygen jet of high kinetic density. Why a stainless or aluminum cannot be cut by oxyfuel torch cutting? Stainless steel and aluminum have an oxide layer on their outer surface and the melting temperature of these oxides is much higher than the base metals. For example, the melting point of aluminum is 660 degrees Celsius or 1220 degrees Fahrenheit but the melting point of its oxide is 2050 degrees Celsius or 3722 degrees Fahrenheit. If we try to cut it with oxyfuel gas cutting the oxygen jet or flame cannot reach the metal as it is covered by a solid oxide layer. Due to this reason, aluminum and stainless steel materials are not suitable for gas cutting. The other reason is the high thermal conductivity of the aluminum material. A similar case is for stainless steel or material having high chromium as chromium forms a chromium oxide layer when it came to contact with oxygen in the atmosphere. The melting point of stainless steel is around 1400 to 1450 degrees Celsius, 2552 to 2642 degree Fahrenheit, while the melting point of chromium oxide is 2,435 degrees Celsius, 4,415 degrees Fahrenheit. So the flame will not be able to cut through the oxide layer as shown in the below picture. Before we will melt the oxide layer, the base metal will get melted and we will not be able to cut the material and it will only result in a shabby look melted area. More the alloying elements in the steel, more the difficult to cut the material with flame or torch cutting using oxyfuel gases. Why is cast iron flame cutting difficult? It is difficult to cut cast iron by the normal oxyfuel process, because of the presence of graphite and iron carbide which hinder the oxidation of the iron that is prerequisites to start the cut. Due to these elements flame cutting or oxyfuel cutting or oxygen cutting processes cannot be used for cutting of cast iron. Oxyfuel cutting of cast iron The cutting of cast iron is also not possible with oxyfuel gas cutting. Here, Cast iron means a material having more than 2% carbon. The reason is the presence of graphite in the microstructure. The melting temperature of graphite is 3600 degrees Celsius, while the cast iron melting temperature is 1300 degrees Celsius, very based on carbon percentage. Many people confuse cast iron with cast steel. Cast steel can be easily cut with oxyfuel gas cutting as it is just plain carbon steel but in casting form. Due to this reason, cast steel is easy to cut with gas cutting. Some cast iron microstructure does not contain graphite and hence they are easy to cut with gas cutting or lettuce oxyfuel gas cutting or torch cutting. It is many times we face difficulty in the shop when we don't have laser cutting or plasma cutting. The cutting with a cutting wheel is good for small thickness but what if you have to cut thicker parts? Let's say 20 millimeters thick plate. In such cases, welding can be used to cut material although it's used as joining material. What you need to do is take a 3.2 mm, 1 8 electrode, best is a cellulose rod E6010 slash E6011, as they have higher pressure, set the machine to a high current let's say 200-250 ampere. Mark the area to be cut and weld on it. Due to high current and heat, the material will melt and form a cut. Although, not a perfect cut like a laser, you can easily and fast cut the material. Just do a little grinding and you will be good to go. Using currents in the range of 200 to 600 amp, stainless steel and aluminum up to 13 millimeters thick can be cut with ease. Tool steels and cast iron are not suitable for flame cutting. 